trim that sleeve, do you think, or? Um, if you're going to trim your sleeve, now is the time to do it. If yep. you haven't already planned on doing it and altered your pattern. Yeah. Um, but if you wanted to trim it, the trouble with trim actually, the problem with trimming it now and using your band, your band may not be long enough. Your band fits here and it's a fairly reasonable fit. It, it might be a centimetre or two shorter, but if you cut it up here, as you can yeah, see, yeah, I can see it. It's it's a little bit short, and and it quite possibly <laughs> might just you could stretch it in. But that's the issue when you do something afterwards. Mm. Um, this is why the first time take note of what's happened and then alter your sleeve before you cut out because you have to alter. It's like a it's like a dominoes effect. Yeah. Um, so if you shorten the sleeve, you need to cut a new band, basically. A longer band. So a you longer, measure the you measure band. the length of the end of the sleeve, sleeve, and then you add that to the to the band. Yeah. Yeah. If there's if there's like if you decide you're going to cut it there. Yeah. Remembering that you need to leave your seam allowance. Yeah. There's about two and a half, you reckon that's about two and a half centimetres or yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would need to add that to your band. Okay. So how about we shorten that and shorten. then I'll go cut a right. couple of new bands with two and a half centimetres out. So is that what you want to do? Yeah, yeah, Take, yeah. Is that short enough? Uh, two and a half centimetres is the width of your band. Yes. The band will sit higher at the point of where the band uh where the yeah the I see band, what you, mean. you see what i mean yeah 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 i do if your band finishes here which it did down here or yeah there, yeah it fits around if you there go up only the width of the band yeah it may not be enough be to you know not fairly negligible really. yeah so if we took five centimeters off the sleeve all right then if you take five centimeters off there that's about that much yep and then the band will add another two and a half and on top of that still gives you around eight centimeters yeah there yep so the band will need to be up here and then folded will need to probably be about three centimetres. Longer. All up. Okay. From there yeah. to there. Okay. From there to there and that's twice because it's yep. on the fold. Alright, let's do that. I'll go mm -hmm. cut another band. Okay. And I'll take off five centimetres. Yep. So what we've done just in the interim is we've decided to shorten the sleeve by five centimetres. Um, so I've gone into the pattern and I've marked the five centimetre marking and we'll cut that off later. Just so that next time you make it, it's the length that you would require. So now we're going to stitch from the hem of the dress, of the top, all the way through to the sleeve in one in one go. So I'm going to pin my sleeve. I'm going to pin the seams. At the join of the body where the sleeve at the underarm. And then I'm going to join the bottom and pin the, the bottom edge. And then I'll place a few pins in the middle. 
there are at least one set of notches on the side seam. Here. So pin that as well. The reason we have notches on is so that we we actually pin the garment together correctly so that if you stitch from one end to the other you may find that you've got a couple of centimetres um, too long on one part of the, the body. Um, it's also for the fact that some fabrics are very stretchy and you need to hold it so that it as where the notch is that's a holding point so that from there to there needs to be evenly distributed and then from here to the seam to the hem is also evenly distributed all as well so it just gives you that um, joining on both the front and the back to make sure that it all sits nicely There again, don't stretch it. Just hold it all in place. So pin the um, other side. Pin the notch. and at least once in the middle start from the same edge under the arm under the, uh, the underarm of the sleeve try it on see if you want to take it in anywhere in the sides before you do that overlock of your side um, and also to um, choose how long you want it there's a, a two and a half centimeter hem or two to two and a half centimeter of hem on this so once you put it on you can then decide how, how wide. You may want to take your sleeves in. So before we do the band, we'll try it on to see that the sleeve, the sleeve um, is not too wide in the sleeve opening. So we'll do that and then come back. 
overlocking, do I go the side, same way? Side seam from underarm down. down. And the reason I say underarm is because some machines have a tendency to push the top, like the teeth on the bottom of the machine on your, your bed here, yeah. the teeth here, yeah. they grab it, but the top, sometimes it might be a bit slippery, so the bottom goes and the top oh. doesn't, oh. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you don't, you don't um, want it pushing. You'd still want to If you it. start from the hem, it yeah. pushes it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it does that uneven stitching, which I won't now because we've done the top stitch, but if it does that, you'd stop and unpick it and redo it, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. I'd add more pins. Yeah. before finishing the garment is the band on the sleeve. So we've got the band here. We're going to put right sides together and stitch it straight through one and a half, uh, one centimetre seams. That was me, I did that. <laughs> right, so we've joined our sleeve bands together and we've made a circle. We're going to now open up the seam and just finger press it and turn it inside in half like so. Pin that edge together. We need to find the halfway there. Now, if you don't feel confident, you can then do a little stay stitch around here, holding the two pieces together. And 
then what we're going to do is have the garment inside out. We'll put the join of the uh, sleeve band at the underarm seam point there. Um, actually, before we do that, just fold our sleeve in half. Now you can either place a pin at the halfway point or just do a little slip. Pin the seams together at the underarm point. Sleeve, pin the halfway point of the band that we did before that little notch that we made just on the sleeve and then pin around. If you need to, you feel you need to have pins every centimetre, do so. If you only need three, do that as well. Now you'll notice that the sleeve is actually a little bit longer than the band, only slightly. That's just to pull it into place so it sits nice and flat on the body. I'm going to do the other one. I'll pin the two up and then I'm going to stitch them both one after the other. Again, open your sleeve, your band sleeve, fold it in half, Fold the sleeve, this is the seam to find the other part of the halfway point of your sleeve band. It's there. Right sides together. Sorry, forgot again. Find the halfway point to your seam, your sleeve. You may have noticed that the sleeve on the, the other sleeve, the first sleeve, had the overlocking done. Um, that isn't necessary in, at this um, to do so, to overlock the sleeve at, um, beforehand because we're going to stitch this all on and then overlock it all together. go. I've twisted it. Sorry. Make sure you don't do what I did. Put, just twist it. I know I got a little lost there watching you. I was thinking, I don't know what you just did. I, I, I twisted the band. Yes. 
That's because you. Oh no, it wasn't because you sniffed. You did that before, but I don't know how you did that. Uh, yeah. Um, not taking enough notice. It's a pretty good reason. Not watching what I was doing. Leapt too many steps ahead in your head, maybe. <laughs> Probably. So now you can stitch this two ways. You can stitch it this way, so it goes under your your foot here, and you have the wrong side of your garment towards you, and then stitch it around, or you can turn it inside out so that you have the right sides on the outside. And if you've got a free arm, it's just got magic. No, it's just muscles. <laughs> too scared of breaking. I know, it, does, it, it catches me out sometimes too. If your sleeve is big enough, not wide enough at the opening, you can actually put it this way. this way you'll have the wrong side of the garment towards you and I always start um, stitching these just before the seam that you're joining in um, it's just Sometimes the machine doesn't like the, the thickness of the seam, so if I start it beforehand, it kind of gives it a running start. to do now is um, um, sorry didn't stitch you can see that it didn't stitch in the section there so what caused that? I don't know is there bobbin? Yeah, there is. Hmm. So you, once again, you will overlock this, overlock the other sleeve, but before we do that, we will um, do the hem, or we will discuss the hem. How, now this normally does uh, 
one. No, that should be fine. Yeah, I like the four centimeter. I did it on the one that I made, and so if we could do a four centimeter, that would be cool. Okay. I don't and know you're why. Doing a double. Do you want to do a twin needle? Oh, <gasps> can or not? I? Yeah. Let's do the twin needle. We'll be back in a second.